Hi, I'm Bob, and welcome to Between the Sheets, where we look at Microsoft Excel and related technologies. Bubble charts sort of add a third dimension to a chart. In addition to the X and Y axes, each piece of data is a circle. The size of the circle corresponds to the value. It's like a scatter diagram, but with circles instead of dots. So let's take a look and see how it works. I want to create a bubble chart where the x-axis will be the date, the y-axis will be the number of cases sold, and the bubbles themselves will be the sale amount. The file I have open is called bubble chart. So I'm going to select the last three columns, and I'm going to go to the insert tab on the ribbon bar because charts are things we insert on the page. And in the chart section on the bottom, I'm going to click this little icon there. And you see we've got some scatter diagrams. And we also have on the bottom bubble charts. So there's 2D bubble charts and 3D bubble charts. I'm going to choose the 3D. And maybe I will stretch this out a little bit. This is not a chart where you would want to switch the row and column. And I will show you why. So I'm on the chart design tab on the ribbon bar. It's context sensitive because the chart is selected. When I click this switch row and column, it gets stacked like that. That is really not what I want. So I'm going to undo. I could press Control Z or Command Z on the Mac, or I could hit that undo. But look what happens. Undoing, for some reason, turns it into a 2D bubble chart. I don't know if that's a bug or a feature. I think that's a bug. So that's really not something you want to do which means that if you want to get this back to a 3D bubble chart, you actually have to change the chart type. So I've got to go on the ribbon bar and choose Change Chart Type, and then at the top, choose 3D Bubble, like I'm doing this from the beginning, and click OK, and that will turn it back to normal. I'm going to choose a dark format. So I'll hit the down arrow, and I see I have one dark format. So I'm going to choose that. Let's just take a look at what's going on. So we've got the dates going along the x-axis. We have the number of cases going up the y-axis. And the sale amounts correspond to the size of the bubble. So the first one, let me just drag this over like that. So the first one is that's apples. And that's kind of a relatively small number. Or the second to last one here is avocados. Also, in comparison to the others, it's a relatively small number. So let's say I change that. So maybe I will go over here. So that's the number of avocados. If I make that, let's say 8,000, and enter that, now you notice that bubble is a lot bigger. So I'm going to make sure the chart is selected. And as with other charts, there's all kinds of great formatting we can do. I'll go to the Format tab on the ribbon bar, and we have various shape styles. And I want to make sure to click the bubbles, and I'll go to this drop down, and I can have all kinds of great looking formats. Now, that was blue is original, or I will choose green or something like that. So you can make these look really nice. And of course, if you want, you could go and select each individual one and make each individual one its own color. So you could have some really nice effects from this. Now, in most charts, you can insert images for the data pieces. And you could insert images in almost any drawing object in Excel. Here's an example where I think it can work really well. So let me go back to this first one here. Now, when I click apples, I click the first bubble. All the bubbles get selected, so I have to click a second time. It's not a double click. It's a click, a hesitate, and then a second click. So I'm going to leave it selected. I will right click. I'm going to go to Fill Picture from File. And I'm going to choose Apple because that's what it is. Boom, and that's an apple. Let's go to the second one. So this should be oranges. So I'll right click that, go to Fill Picture from File. Make that an orange.
And there we have it. There is a bubble chart with each fruit representing a different bubble. Try using bubble charts as a substitute for column or bar charts when you want to show values as independent from each other rather than being in a group or a series. So until next time, my name is Bob, and this has been Between the Sheets.